year. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Perp Show. This is season five, episode two. Before I get started, let me let everybody in this in the back real quick. Okay. Hey, what's going, on, y'all? what's going on? Chilling, chilling, man. All right. Oh got, no, uh, we already got Canadian bias. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whatever we, we, it takes, I know I can make I, it through. <laughs> we got to go international, you know. So we got to get a fellow Canadian in here and give his take on all this. Shouts to uh, Loki's in the chat. Um, yeah, we strictly gonna. St- talk about some hip-hop stuff that's just been going on, talk about Future and his album, um, the whole J. Cole apologizing shit, uh, the whole Drake versus Kendrick, and even now Ross kind of hopping in and just, you know, we're just going to kind of just give our thoughts on that. But before we get into all that, just want to kind of give the people some updates on other things that are in the works, you know what I'm saying? Get this out the way. Um, Movie-wise, I will have two reviews coming tomorrow one being spy fi- the new spy family movie is dropping and i'm pissed that that was the mystery movie on monday i was like fuck i could because it's every time i skip out on it they play a movie that i actually want to fucking see um and then i'm gonna do abigail that's gonna be it's pretty much gonna be a double feature for me tomorrow and i'm debating on rebel moon i really don't want to waste my time you know what i'm saying if we're not gonna get like the full the actual movie and stuff like that. Um, on the TV side of things, uh, you should be watching Fallout. That's one of the best series that I've seen thus far, like new series. That shit was fire. Uh, Anime-wise, uh, I've been watching uh, Kai, uh, Kaiju number eight, Go Go Loser Ranger. If you don't know what Go Go Loser Ranger is, and if you like the boys, think of like the boys, but like they mix that with uh, Power Rangers, and the Power Rangers are actually evil. Stuff and hmm. it's really fascinating, and then like Windbreakers, that was dope. So, you know, just to kind of give y'all a quick little update and whatnot. But what's up with y'all though? Uh, shouts to Marcus for uh popping up here because it's been a minute, it's been a minute for sure. Yeah, man, I wanted to make sure I made it in and I had the time tonight, so appreciate the invite, appreciate you pulling up. Uh, chill, everybody knows chill, of course, you know what I'm saying. Yep, yep, winner of the 2021 Perp Show Award. <laughs> <He's what's going. laughs> That's what up, Dot? What up? What up, Rashad? How you doing, bro? Hey, what's good, man? Um, I'm surprised you invited me on this because I feel like I'm like the least uh, qualified person to speak on <laughs> this whole situation here. But hey, I, I mean, you you, you could me. you could still chime in though because you said you still would you consider yourself a hip hop head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm in a time capsule, you know, like my hip hop stopped uh, around like 2007. And after that, everything (laughs) is like kind of, you know, I don't really know what the fuck is going on. But I try to do my due diligence, though. I I tried to because Q sent me like all the tracks or whatever, the diss tracks. I listened to them. So I I have a little little knowledge of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? You can still kind of. You you probably have like an interesting take that's like completely different from anybody else on this panel, but uh, okay. but yeah. you probably just give us general public like most people don't don't aren't rap junkies, so they're not paying attention to the the particular. What up, Wes? Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So to kind of kick things off, let's start with future and. Uh, Metro Boomin's uh, two albums they dropped. Uh, the we don't trust you, we still don't trust you. I just want to kind of talk about um, is the are, are these going to be the highest selling hip hop albums this year? Because, like, the first one, the first one did what two, 250 something K first week, which is crazy. That's all off Kendrick, though. Um, and then I think just the first one. The first one, because the second, the second one, they're they're projecting that that's going to do like one fifty to one seventy five, which is still crazy. Like I was going to say, crazy. who else has done two fifty this year? The numbers are way way down. Uh, I think Kanye with uh, uh Vultures one. Vultures, it was like three three thirty something. That like was three thirty. It was round three hundred. Wow, that's crazy. That's uh, wild. <laughs> but, but, but that's that's like the the shot in the dark. That's like the one that's yeah. been. You know, everybody else, Blue Lips, 
it was number one, but it, it was only like a little over a hundred thousand, I think. It's like hundred thirty thousand, mm. hundred fifty thousand, something like that. So oh, you, you all see work over sales wise. So, so because I didn't know that about Kanye, like so Kanye and uh, Future and Metro got the highest, the highest selling album so far yeah, this year. So uh, I don't. Carnival been on the top ten for like uh, actually the past couple weeks in the top ten of the Billboard. Consistent in top five. I'm I'm not sure how far Carnival dropped, but <laughs> Carnival made that album look crazy. But this is so the second album. Um, I don't think it was bad at all, but the first album. Is going to have more streamable songs on that people want to keep going back to, like type shit. You know, people mm-hmm. with the Cardi mm-hmm. feature, um, the song with the weekend, uh, the other song like that with Kendrick. The second album, while it was, he said he they did say this was going to be the album with no features on it, but he had the weekend on one song. It was it was just you know an, another I feature album, but the first album, while it, a lot of it was singles with just him, those feature songs. Is going to keep people going back to that album and those songs specifically, because uh-huh. I, I I'm I mean, if anyone can say one, but the only song I really f with on a new album for Future is a Crazy Clientele. Interesting. I can say I f with more songs on his most recent album that are actually on my playlist. I only have one song on my playlist from this new album. I got probably ten songs on my playlist from it this from his album before this. So, interesting. Up, terrible with song names. Yeah, what, what about you, Marcus? How how you feel about both of these these albums? I feel like the first one was a punch for sure. Uh, obviously, would like that doing what it's been doing. Still, still, I, I believe at the moment it is, it's still number one. Um, the second album wasn't wasn't Rocky on that album too? Wasn't the Rocky the Rocky disc on that second on the part two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, to me, especially after like that, the, I think the the anticipation maybe did it a little disservice. Like you, oh shit, it's a part two. But what, what are we gonna get now? What are we gonna get now? And then we're comparing got to this to that of the weekend singing about leaks in Drake's camp and ASAP Rocky talking about being Eskimo brothers with Drake when. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently everybody's an Eskimo brother in, in, in Hollywood. So it's not even really a diss. It's especially not a diss to Drake, seeing as how he has your he had your baby mother as well. So it's, it's just a very weird critique. Uh so I, I just went when it comes to the main thing that people was everybody was showing up for, right? Was the, yeah. the the mess of it all. It didn't quite hit the same way on the part two. We still don't trust you as we don't trust you did. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people were like expecting, oh, Kendrick's gonna respond and stuff like, you know. Yeah. They, 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 and I think once they found out like that was in there, but Cole had a verse on there, that was a bit more shocking to people. Now that you I, know. Didn't expect. I didn't expect that, and and I and and it really took me back when he low key when he referenced what was going on because I'm thinking like, all right, you know, this is an old verse had to be, and they just bringing it out because it's good timing, but like hearing him reference. What was going on? Like, oh, I, I was, you know, I'm, I, I'm a run when y'all bring the straps out, fam. So either you went back and doctored the verse so you can reiterate your apology, or you was, or were you already thinking about it? He had to have wrote that either verse, wrote it, wrote it recently, or revised it to fit what had just happened. Either way, I'm, a, I'm still upset. I'm still, upset. yeah, it was a, it, it was a weird play. That was a weird kind of play. Um. Just, just like we'll get to that, but um, chill. Did you listen to either of these albums? I heard like that, but with the J- the J Cole relationship with Drake, do you remember like two years ago he was playing basketball locally here, and uh, it was for a, a team that Drake had an affiliate, like a, a ownership of something like that. But it was the Drake affiliate team of like a basketball league here, and he played yeah. what, three games, and he he practiced, and you know he sold out all the all the shows or the the games. J. Yeah. Cole was like, I don't know. And, and then he had that legend that uh, they act like two legends cannot coexist. He said that in Middle mm-hmm. Child. I think like he went on Team Drake and regrets it because like <laughs> he probably met Drake, spoke with Drake for a long time and goes, oh, yeah, you know, this is nothing but a childhood actor. Uh, he's not cultured <laughs> at all. 
It's true. He is that. You guys didn't know that? <laughs> no, like, that's what he is. Like we we know, know, we know about man. wheelchair Jimmy. Everybody knows you. Yeah. Well, they forgot, but everybody Drake used to know that he was a, a Drake TV star. Drake wouldn't, Jake, Drake wouldn't apologize like Jake Cole did. But go ahead, chill. Keep playing Drake. We've done this before, Kata. You know how I feel about him, and, and I can't get over <laughs> I know how you feel, but he's, he's <laughs> man. You can't talk down to the king of Canada. You, you, you can't. Pusha T has a diss that you haven't addressed yet. And then you went and did this. It sold well, his heart to me. This didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. This is that stop it. It wasn't no effect at all. It didn't do nothing to hurt his career. It didn't wish it hurt Drake. I, I, I will. I will semi. I will semi agree with that. With that, because I was thinking, about, I was like, yo, this man literally got caught cold, like with red handed with black face. It still has a career. That's crazy. That that should have been like hey, who, 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 who wore black face? That was Drake. Drake. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't it's, see the whole uh the whole story of Adidon. Nah, well, what the hell he wear black? I mean, I know there's no excuse. For that. <laughs> <laughs> black face photo. Oh, oh man, I don't remember. It was well, like some well, active shit. Well, 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 fuck well, that guy, man. Well, 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 he's well, 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 he well, well, because of that. What the excuse was? It was supposed to be satirical because of the the kind of buffoonish things that black actors have to do in Hollywood to get on screen. So to encapsulate that. The best way to do it was to smear black fit paint all over his face and paint his lips red. Share my screen. Mm. Yep, mm. share share his screen. Share his screen. Drake's still Lord. the goat, by the way. Look, uh, oh hell, Woo! that's my goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, that's my. your goat. Even that's even crazy. got the, the Jim Crow shirt on, man. Hell <laughs> no. Nah. And that's what I'm saying, like. I don't know how, like, that just blows my mind. I was like, that wasn't that long ago. That was like five, six years ago. It's just like people completely forgot about this. No, they well, didn't well, forget. Okay, wait, wait. This is the thing, too, we have to remember. Right. This thing you have to remember, right? While, yes, you. But this thing, Drake's not a Drake, Drake's not just a white dude. If this was a white dude doing this at the time Drake did this, yeah, he's canceled. But he's, he's white, according dude. to Rick Ross. Yeah, well, I was about to say that, but I saw that. That's saw that. Um, Instagram kept calling him white boy. <laughs> he, he said he wears his doctors without his underwear. Mom his mom is white. Well, I think she is. I think she's mixed. I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, he's, he's definitely black. mixed. Yeah, one of his parents is white. Yeah, I know that mixed. for sure. I'll add that his upbringing was that of someone who was white. And like you know how he said, "You, you're from." In his diss to, to to Kendrick, he said something like, "You're not even from the six. Like, how do you rep it? Something like that." Oh, that was to the weekend. Sorry. Yeah, it was to the weekend. Okay. Great. You know, he's from Mississauga, which is a city right outside. That's cool. All right. There are neighborhoods in this town that I live in, low-income, violent, hood, like by every definition, murder, drugs, um, everything negative. They, they exist here. He's not from any of them. Every rapper in the history of rap, we know where their neighborhoods are. I know who's from Southside Jamaican Queens. I know who's from Queensbridge. Well, it's multiple. I know who's from, you know, Crenshaw and Slauson. Mm -hmm. Drake can't do that. He's never done that. He's very inauthentic in that. And when I heard him use the, yeah, right. And when I heard him use those words in his diss track, I just found it like, I found it so eye opening, but no one's really taking it in. I found another thing he did. He said something when, okay, when Pusha T said, the M's divide different. Baby, div baby gets baby slice of the pie. The pie. Yeah. All right. That was the crux of what Drake was trying to say to Kendrick about man, right? man. Talk about a lot of that, but also, um, uh, key. Uh, I would say it's a little bit different because, like, there are crooked ass CEO, uh, CEOs and stuff. Like, I'd rather be known for being a CEO than a fucking uh do that work uh black do the word uh yeah, blackface. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Listen, folks. But nah, but also, but also, also to add to that, man, you know, Rick Ross. Not saying he's a Suge Knight, but he's got that Suge Knight type of energy. Where like when people did try to address that to him, he would he would have somebody fuck you up. Like did he have Vlad? It, did he have Vlad beat up for that? Didn't Vlad ask him something about being a CEO and he got Vlad jumped or something like that? <laughs> the pairs. <laughs> What, yeah. what we got to realize in all of this, well, first, I'm going to address, I, I want to get my point out about Pusha T. Pusha T made Drake be a father and stop being an mm. ICE agent and let his, his son be with him in mm. public on TV. That's how hard that <laughs> yeah, is. That's not really messing up. He changed his whole life. <laughs> he, 
Well, because regardless, from being an absentee father to being a PTA parent overnight, no PTA was story of Adderdon. No, I mean, because yeah, we're hiding from the sun, he was hiding the sun from the world. Regardless, we knew Drake was going to get, even if Pusha didn't reveal it, he wasn't going to get the DNA test anyway to see if this is my kid. And I think he still was going to be a father. But this, but that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, what did it do to hurt his career? Because if anything, if anything, okay. when, when, when Adonis you came out, answer? you gonna let me answer, or are you gonna what? protect him before I even give you the answer? When 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 Adonis, how, came how out? hurt his career is how he planned to tell the world. He already knew that that was his son. He got he had already got one DNA test. The boy had already been here, right? You have to be the baby has to be alive outside of the womb to get a DNA test most yeah. of the time, unless you want to be evasive. Uh, but so the child was already here. He had a rollout planned, right, around his baby being born and, and him introducing it to the world. It was going to be akin to like all the stuff he was doing with the lead up to um Certified lover boy, you know what I'm saying? Or or when he had the, the collab album with future, it was going to be a money grab, right? Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't be in my son's life, you know, through pregnancy, there for the birth, what have you. I had to check all that, all those boxes, but I'm gonna be there for the rollout, like he's an album. So <laughs> the genius behind that was Pusha T getting ahead of it, telling everybody you've been hiding a kid. And letting everybody know that I fooled your plan to make money off of the kid that you were denying months ago. Yeah, that was that that's, was that's that was where a... the, the play is in the business side of it. Because now, mm -hmm. not only am I going to embarrass you, but I'm gonna fuck the money up too. Okay, well that's the thing. That's the thing. Okay, he affected a little part of the plan. Yeah, but I don't Drake think the like end that. was to end Drake's career. I don't think that's a, a, a doable thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm not saying this is the end, but like, yeah, he he trumped that little like rollout. But still, Drake still benefited off this whole child situation, anyways. Like he still he still won at the end of the day. Okay. Even if he tweaked the rollout of how he's gonna do it, you don't you don't get to not respond and win. You don't get to take your ball, go home, and claim that you win. That that's not how it's worked ever in uh, anything. It's historic, historically, no, 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 hip hop asked me how to work. Well, well, I'm not saying Drake fired back with like a you know fired. He didn't fire back. What up, son? What Push attempted to do, yeah, he was had a dope diss, but it wasn't really nothing effective. I mean, if if your aim again was to end Drake's career, I don't think you ever should have started the beef. Apple is not going to allow you to end Drake's career. It's not yeah. gonna happen. If your your aim was to embarrass him and fuck up some short term money that he had planned around whatever he had going on with his baby mom and his child, job done. <laughs> job done. Because you look at it now, like Drake's whole legacy now is kind of stayed, even from the beginning with the whole like Meek Mill situation. Like when Meek kind of leaked out, like, oh, he got he got these reference tracks, he got ghostwriters. Now you're not taking care of your kids now. Like you just all this stuff is just piling up. Even though most people are going to like that are big fans of Drake are going to just ignore that. That's just always going to be a part of his like uh his uh, his uh legacy now, which is an awesome segue to get into this J. Cole shit because that's another thing that's going to be on his legacy forever if him apologizing for this track. So let's 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 get into that. Um yeah this and I've I've always said this I've always said this man like to let people know how big of a fan of J. Cole I am I like I've been listening to his music since MySpace. It's been a minute. Like school days was the first, like the first track I ever listened to. Like, yo, been listening to him, been rocking out. Even like, not even like defending, but like, you know, just, you know, getting into arguments with certain people and just always like siding with, you know, Cole. But this 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 one instance is just is unacceptable. And just what's more egregious is the people trying to um downplay it or just saying, oh, like, um, or just don't even got the context and which why people are upset about this specifically. It's so like mature. just it's so mature. I'm so happy. I hate that. They're so mature. I hate that. I hate that because it's like nobody at, like it, and then he it, it insisted theatrics, right? Him mm -hmm. going on stage and saying, like, man, I haven't slept in two days. That shit blew that shit blew me, bro. Like Damn, I was just like uh, tell another <laughs> lie. Tell a lie, boy. You sleeping fine. You sleep. I, I know you got an ambience. So what did I miss? What was the whole apology here. about? 
it was it, uh, pretty much like when he dropped the seven uh seven minute drill John, you know what i'm saying it's only been like it's only been out for like two days that he hops on his uh his stage at um dreamville Dreamville Festival, whatever fuck, and he's pretty much just like, you know, I, I just dropped the dope uh, album and stuff, but there's just one little thing, you know what I'm saying, and, and he's just like saying like, I didn't really fuck with the whole, uh, the diss track and stuff like that, he thought it was whack, and just to sit there on stage and big up Kendrick, and say, oh, uh, and then what else killed me, uh, that was just like, the nail in the coffin for me is when he said like, oh, uh, you can respond, I'm gonna take it on the chin, I'm like, what? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, you cannot go out that bad. I would have respected him more if he like would have even just played around with the idea of just having a back and forth with Kendrick or just throwing jabs and just people just say, all right, Kendrick got the best of him and just lost like that. It just not to just completely like buckle like that, but like dog is hip hop, off. man. Hip hop is competitive, man. Like you, you don't mm -hmm. do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you feel like you was wrong in a diss. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? All right, you know, I made a mistake, but whatever. Let, let's go to the man. It. Yeah, right, stand right. on it. Right, you know what it out. you know what really got to him was the 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 jab back to Pimper Butterfly is, is what really the, what I think he was talking about in the apology. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is the one that stuck out to me that didn't really sound right. And chill, you were talking about the, the contract splits that Drake keeps mentioning when we know, you know, baby. Lil Wayne both got their hands in his pocket, so it didn't really read right for Cole. That's the one that didn't really read right to me because it's like, yo, fam, to Pimper Butterfly had King Kunta and had All Right. Now, those out, those they might have, you know, something been charted peaked somewhere in the teens, but those were culturally relevant records. Those, those records were being played at protest, you know, during that time. To Pimper Butterfly itself, an album. That I believe that was the one that Kendrick went to did the Super Bowl on, if I'm not mistaken. He did that Super Bowl performance that everybody I think so, yeah. right that everybody all all bent out of shape because it was just a little little too black. So like to hear Jermaine Cole of all people, I expect to hear Drake say some shit like that. Oh, that album was boring. It was lame. Blah 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 blah. Nobody listened to it. It didn't sell enough. That's some Drake shit I expect to hear. Out of you. Cole, I, 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 that that one didn't feel right at all, and so I, I think that's what he was responding to. It still didn't sit right with me, though. I thought it was, had, I thought he was trolling. Like honestly, when he started saying like, uh, I was like, man, this got to be a. You saw that little meme, like people's like trying to like figure, oh, this is all part of the rollout and stuff. I was like, nah, it's not that deep. He's really serious. Because you know, the album called "The Fall Off." We hope he's he not just falling, so he can have a <laughs> yeah. Well, nah, 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 nah. nah. This well, was, this was that's how bad his apology was. Not even Drake on his own disc came to defend Cole. He just left Cole out of it completely and just went straight for Kendrick as he should. Rick Ross but, randomly dragged him back in the middle of it. Pop a perk for the view, like man, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's ugly <laughs> out here for him. <laughs> and, and before though, this con, this this like you said. It's supposed to be competition. It's supposed right. to be competitive. And and the thing that I was talking about on Sunday when we did the stream is that rappers at their core are, are literary masters. So, like, taking an, op uh, an opportunity to flex that muscle, like, to flex your brain on, on, a, on a national level with, with contemporaries that you won't ever have again, right? There's not going to be another Drake and, and Kendrick Lamar of your lifetime, like, this is your opportunity to stamp that top three status that you keep talking about. That I am the best. I am the greatest. I'm the latest. All that other stuff oh, people saying in 2018 that I don't want to hear now. Okay? Don't want to hear it no more because competitors don't bow out and, and claim mm -hmm. sovereignty. Ah, uh, you know, I'm trying to be it, nice. It, so. And that's Damn. what I'm saying. People people are miss, missing those con the, the context and all this and why it's just like it doesn't make sense for Cole to do this because he's been talking big shit for the last couple of years. And yeah. Tony says right here, like he fucked up his momentum to his album because it's yeah, like I don't, I'm I don't gonna listen to it, but I just don't I don't care about it no more. I don't I don't care about it as much as like you know. But um the sad thing is he didn't care about his own diss. He did it in seven minutes. That's why it's called seven minute drill. He wrote that thing and said he claims to have done that really quickly. Why would you if you're like what? No, you have to be passionate about it, you have to go longer, you have to try. And this whole yeah, seeking sovereignty, 
I'm an innocent uh, bystander now. Please don't. Uh, I'll just have to take it on the chin. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, what is that's, Sanders that's supposed to do? Shit. Does he do six minute drill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and the fact that on top of that, he took it off of streaming services and stuff. That's that's really weak too. Like uh-huh. you know, you might as well just you might as well just stu- uh, just stick with your L, bro. Like that's just it, that's just crazy. Me. This narrative that like even in arenas where this aggression is supposed to be, we can't do it civilly. Right. Like mm. any any instance of, of people having discourse and now we got to throw our hands up and we shocked, we scared like somebody about to get shot like that. That perpetuates a certain narrative about the 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 race that's most often involved in this genre. And I didn't uh-huh. I didn't appreciate that from Cole because I'm I'm thinking he's a little bit more cognizant of that when people are popping up online saying, no, this is this is how rappers get killed. Y'all would rather him be shot in the street. And I'm not hearing him like. Stop that. Like, hey, yo, look, look yeah. I did this because of me. I did this because I felt the need to do it. Not because it was going to be turned into some bigger, badder issue. North right. Carolina versus Compton. I, I, like, damn, it was never about to be none of that. And yeah, I, and, yeah. Um, r- r- real quick. Uh, hold on. Hold on can I, uh, um, real quick, though. Tracy G, like, I understand that. You know, they're all old, but it's just like that doesn't negate the fact that, like, yo, we just want to hear bars. That's all motherfuckers. Like, that's all people want to hear. It's just bars. That's all we want to hear. People just going back and forth. And we just hear rap. Jada Kiss is ten years older than J Cole, but at Versus, when it was him and Dipset, it was yeah. very aggressive. It was body like, doom. It body was, that was the second most viewed verses yeah. of their time. There was the Dipset versus the Locks. Wait, a minute, so is she saying because rappers over forty they can't get down no more? Like what? What's she trying to say? I'm I, yeah. Well, I'll I'll say this too. If you claim to be, a, if you want to jump into rap, and you still want to rap. Even Snoop Dogg is still, I mean, he just did a song with Juice Gaz a recent. He still pops out every, every once in a while. If you want to c- claim to jump into the genre and you want to start dissing people and stuff, stand on business. I don't care what age you are. You can be a 60 year old 60 year, 60 year old rapper. Do what you gotta do. Hop on the mic, spit the bars. Even Eminem out still here dissing people. And he's in his 50s. And even you know, Melly Mel came out, even though he he, he kind of like he, he he backtracked on his shit, but like he at least you know what I'm saying nobody yeah, expected Mel him to even out. like yo pick right up a now, mic right now. KRS One will go after anybody. KRS One who's in his fifties will go after anybody. Yeah. He won't give a fuck. Right. That's, that's absolutely hip hop was built on that. Hip hop was built on battling, you know, and not on some you know on some gangster shit, but just hip hop. Like you said, it's competition. It's work. And also, and also, just to bounce off of. Uh, Marcus point. That's the thing. Um th- this beef was never ever going to turn into some uh to 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 uh to people getting shot. Yeah and Kend- Kendrick and Cole have enough reason to not let it get that crazy. And I'm not and they don't even I'm not saying they don't, but they're not one of the rappers that are like mixed up with actual gangs and stuff. Like, you know, yeah, it was yeah, never going to go. You, 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 you talking about some rich niggas right now. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I bro, don't yeah, like, 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 no, no rich nigga okay, ever started they, the fight. You know what I'm they, saying? They, 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 they rich, right? But this name, look at the situation that happened with Takeoff, right? It was with Jay Prince and stuff. Jay Prince was talking about, hey, you know, if you rappers check in, we're going to protect you. Guess what happened? Takeoff was messing with some dudes that be doing some illegal, I'm messing with, you know, some gang related shit. They was claiming we can protect you. And he got, ended up getting killed behind it. Now, Cole and Kendrick, I'm not saying they don't hang around those people, but it seems like they are the ones in the in the rap community that distance themselves away because they know, like, yeah, this isn't good for the career. So if, if we, this, 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 this would be not, like some. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Marcus. I was gonna say if we can't come to a place where we understand that our craft is our craft, yeah. especially in hip hop, especially in rap, mm-hmm. right? In a, in a game of words, skill with words, if we can't exist, the competition can't exist there. It can't exist anywhere. All right? I mean, like it, it, it's, it's really, really, really dangerous when you start going to one of the only things that matches literacy with things that are popular in this community and try to put a negative connotation on it because people are seeking competition. All rappers think that they're the best. All rappers claim to be the best. You can go through your top 10 rappers, all of their discography, and you could probably compile a hundred times that they all said throughout their, their career that they were the best. But but somehow, when it came to Jermaine Cole, all of a sudden, the competition became so hot that he just decided, ah, he didn't want I'm smoke. good. 
which I would have been cool with if you had not set that shit on the stage and took your shit off the streaming services. Just stand yeah. on it. But stand but but Tracy, Tracy, we know why like he bowed out. He was scared. He he did some performative <laughs> shit just to, to say shit, but he was scared. This bro. Scared. I, I got a question for Tracy. <laughs> I'm assuming she's a uh, I'm assuming she's the J. Cole fan. So since nobody's listened to to Pimp a Butterfly since 2015, when's the last time you listened to Four Your Four Your Eyes Only? Uh, Good point. Panel? When's the last time y'all listened to Four Your Eyes Only? Anybody? I haven't listened to it in a minute, but I, I definitely, I damn sure have listened to uh, a Pimp a Butterfly like recently, before all this shit. Like I always go back to that, you know. I always go back to that album. But it's like, no, but I, like, man, I we like we can we can we can sit there and like make up all the excuses of all why like J. Cole bowed out and you know this is definitely especially just looking at the this is now that we're getting from Drake and stuff like this thing was gonna go personal but that was that was gonna be more personal between Drake and Kendrick. I don't think if it was go Kendrick and Cole it'd been more playful. It's just not like nothing too serious. It was just little little personal jabs here and there but it wouldn't have gone super crazy where we're going to start talking about financials and stuff like that and <laughs> you know so i mean can i mean this is the thing cole he's now for sure the the just the estranged middle child that's like kind of just stuck you got drake mm -hmm. who is the, the the you know he he's the baby boy you know he uh he's probably going to be the best out of the siblings you got Kendrick, who's the first, but Cole is like, uh, it's, it's like Cole, you know, come on, man, you fucked up. Yeah, and it's, and it's, and it, it, it's only a big it, two now. Ain't no, ain't no big three. It was never. A and big if he, three. It, if he, it, never a big three. it was only a big two, Kendrick, and, Kendrick. And the big thing, the big thing about it is like, if Cole just didn't even say nothing, we don't even be having this conversation. Like, if he just didn't say nothing, he just, you know, just remain quiet. You were be you were just better off, but then like you were talking big shit, and then you were just yeah kind of backed out and just it just looks so weak why, and it's I'm just like, I'm still like why why is that so why why put out the track and then take it back like what I mean I'm still not understanding why we don't why we don't, do don't understand either <laughs> that's why that's why right now Drake is standing on way more business Drake is doing a one v twenty right now he's doing a one v twenty Cole 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 took himself out of the of the battle Drake is now alone this isn't um, you know, this isn't the, the, the they're no longer the world's finest. It's just they're Drake not the Spider-Man like, meme no more. No, it's not, <laughs> no, 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 like the world's just Batman and Superman. Like uh we'll say Cole is Batman and, and then he decided, man, I ain't got no powers, bro. You can handle dark side on your own. I don't got no powers. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Nah, Drake but is, Batman, Batman never ran from a fight right. though, man. Like that. That's um nah. Batman never ran from a, hell, even MC Neither Hammer. And MC Hammer, which is one of the softest rappers ever, never ran from a battle, man. Yeah, that, that's some pussy shit there. I'm sorry. Yeah, J. J. Cole was trying to do all that peaceful woo-sa meditation. But where did where did that uh, even come from though? Because when it was time to when it was time to let uh uh young boy know, hey, listen, check your brakes because this isn't the problem you want. When it was time to yell at Wale and Kanye, it was all fine. When it was time to embarrass Pop, uh, uh, Perp, is it Pop Smoke or Perp Smoke? Those those yeah, guys it, it, it was at Rolling Loud a couple of years ago. Yeah, smoke, all of smoke that was perp. good. All of that was fine. But I I shot my shot at the perceived king. He's loading up, and you know what? Ah, I, I don't want no more. I'm good because I'm good. he knows Kendrick is just gonna oh. Kendrick is gonna go for his jugular. Like that, and I, I'm not. I'm not saying Cole doesn't doesn't hit or knows how to like you know get witty with it. But Kendrick just no. Kendrick is a little bit more combative. I mean, we've seen him you know do freestyles and stuff, battle rap a little bit. I'm not saying Cole cannot battle rap, but but Cole don't got that like. Cole got that dog in him. So yeah, like, 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 like M and M got that. M and M got that dog. Yeah. Little Wayne got that dog in them. If they got a beef with somebody. Conan got that dog. He's a little bit more passive aggressive, which is fine. That's his thing. He's a little bit more of the passive one. He's not trying to. There's just but... so many bars that like don't fit to me now with that realization. Yeah, that's what like, it, it really messes up. It messes up. It, it I can't go back and listen to the league later. Feel right now, like. <laughs> but right now, I like, feel like I, Muhammad Ali. Huh, huh, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali would never. Martin, would man. never. Marcus, so can you can't, still can't, you can't sell wolf tickets, man? You got to live the workout, right? I mean, this isn't her workout. Or what's that song with Miguel? Got me up all night. Yeah, power trip. Power trip. 
<laughs> this doesn't hurt that that much, you know. But still, yeah. yeah. No, I guess so. Or, or nobody. This, this, oh, this one was like Martin. Yeah, huh? It's like Martin trying Tommy Hitman Hearns, man, to not, not go through with it, man. He had to fight Tommy Hearns. He got his ass kicked, but you know. And, and it's just the fact that, like, that? that Cole could have been a part of a moment, but now he, he has this own moment for himself. Like, and it's an embarrassing moment, you know? And obviously, when, like, time goes by, some people will probably forget about it, but, like, that will always be brought up, like in some in some cases. Whenever we talk about J. Cole five years, ten years from now, stuff like that, he's like yeah. he always be known as dude that just kind of bowed out, you know, out of battle. But it's not that people will forget about it. Remember, people listen to Gunna; they don't think the way. Like, remember, remember kid, I remember we, me and you were arguing over, um, what's his name? Was it Takashi Six Nine? Was it? Was it? Was that you who I was talking to? Like oh, the, about the snitch thing. Yeah, well, and, I, I did. Well, true, I, I know. I think it's because of this. I know what you're gonna say. It's because of this. Stop people it, have, people have people have grown up. <laughs> that coke tastes not, good, don't it? <laughs> people have grown up and figured out. Yeah, this this this, this snitching and rapping shit is kind of dumb because it's like, it's like if if we're gonna stop listening to rappers because they snitch, quote unquote, it's like most of these rappers cooperate with the government. Most of them snitch anyways, oh, nice and it's and, it, and it's just like okay. it's just like these these people when they find out these rappers really do what they do, you know it's like it's like dang the person was a bad person and shit. But when they're not actually <laughs> doing this bad shit that they're doing, they're like man you in the boat. They're like, just talking like, about it. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like it's like you got to pick one. It's either do you want them to be about this shit or do you not want them to be about this shit? It, it, it's it's it steps into some weird territory. But with yeah, the let's 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 put Gunna in a box. Gunna and Takashi in a box of specially disgraced rappers. Like I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to debate with all about it, but they're different, and I don't. We, we don't even have to talk about why they cooperated with the, with, the, with the law, and you know, and you, with this stuff. It, it's not just about cooperating with the law at that point, though. For for, for me, especially with Gunna, it's about being able to monetize an image. It's about being able to have a proximity <laughs> to criminality with with a with a plausible deniability. But that ends the moment you're a witness to some sort of criminality. At that point, you 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 kind of straddling the fence. You like, oh, I'm here, you know, for the sticks with the pictures. You know, we we holding our guns in the club, we smoking in the club, <laughs> all of that stuff. We taking private jets. I'm Smoke here for all club. of that. But then it's time to sit down for a while and be quiet so that everybody makes it home. And I can't do that. I have a career. I have to. I'm dating Chloe Bailey at the time. I need to get out of here. I don't want to be part of this. My lawyer set me up a deal. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a criminal or enterprise so I can go back to doing shows. But I don't respect that. I don't respect that. And Well, let me say this, too. I think personally, the audience kind of grew out of it, which I'm kind of okay with because a lot of people were inconsistent. Oh, yeah. Cause it's like, okay, if no one likes six nine, fine. But you get you 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 don't give six nine a pass, but you give Gunna a pass. But they both cooperated with the law. It's like I get it. There's that little bias and stuff, you know, against either one. But it's like they both did the same exact shit. Are are you as an audience member going to stand on business? But, and be but the, the 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 difference though, the difference is. Gonna came back and dropped some heat though. I mean, yeah, he dropped, not, he, he not, dropped not, some not, bangers not, though. He dropped not, a crazy not, album. Yeah, like. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with that. But what I'm saying is this: the audience is saying we don't f with rappers that snitch. Okay, cool. No, no, I no. F with Gunna, but you don't f with Six Nine. I'm just saying that's inconsistent. And then people are starting to realize, yeah, this is not making sense because we're not even being consistent. So it's either we're gonna be cool with it or not. I'm telling ahead, you, Jeff. there's a larger audience who doesn't care. Yeah, about, I agree. Yeah, they don't care about this. That's situation. the majority of music fans. Right. I agree. I agree. Palm people. That's what I'm talking about. Personally, well, I'll I mean, say bring it back to J. Cole. Person, no, no, there's, there's, person, there's, I say this, person, I'll say this. I think the only people who care about the snitch and shit is just the black rap fans, personally. And may, maybe, the, maybe the Hispanic uh, fans. But I think mainly the black rap fans are the only ones who care about if I rappers snitch right, or not or cooperate with the law. And maybe the Hispanics. Maybe. Suburbia, too. So the stain on J. Cole's career that I guess most of us on the panel think that there is, the majority of music fans won't care. 
if the next thing he has is a, is a radio hit, that's that's no, fine. I think we're already we'll care for this case because okay, look at it like this: Cole Cole has a huge audience of people, white, black, Hispanic, whatever. And mind you, he and he doesn't tip, typically make music like let's say Twenty One Savage. I think what about anyone, anyone who's not black or whatever can agree that in the, this genre that he's in, what he did was like weak. It's like, bro, you 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 dissed him right back. Stand on business, and you're running away. You're tucking your tail. In rap, this is what rappers do. As long as there's nothing violent, but you tuck your tail. Even white rap fans can agree, like, yo, all right, this kind of whack, bro. It's kind of whack. Cool. Uh-huh. I think for this particular thing, but I think the snitching thing, there's more of black and Hispanic people that care about that more. He'll keep a fan base. He won't yes. lose all of his fans. That, that's right now, as 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 Miss G is telling us, she they she gonna wave that Jermaine flag until it's till it's gone. But, but that's that's why that, that that's why I brought up the whole Drake wearing blackface. I was like, if you could get a pass for that, well, yeah, you're good. You, you know what I'm saying? Base, <laughs> I think where he's gonna have to adjust a bit is some of the bravado about, oh, it's cool that I'm a conscious rapper because I'm the best rapper. Oh, it's it's good that like I don't wear Cuban links and my my hair is 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 the way it is. All clothes, all clothes, part two. Yeah, I ride a bike and I walk with a stick, and you know <laughs> you gonna have to come off of some of that shit because before people rocked with it because on the other half we thought we was looking at the best rapper a lot. At least that's what you told us, right? And 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 it came time to prove that, and all of a sudden you are not that. So without those bars. Because you you can't you, you can't you can't come out here and talk to me on the fall off about how great you are and how you're towering over everybody. You I, don't have to tear down the concept of that album, fam. The, the, I always, the fall off was supposed to be a crescendo. It was supposed to be a walk off into the the sunset. How can you do that now? You have to make yeah, it back up. And, and I always go back, and it always reminds me of like you remember Friday uh, when. Ray went to go get his bike from Debo. He's like, "No, I'm just playing, dog." Like, my mm-hmm. pops no, asked me for my bike. No, you know, I would. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. You know, said that's exactly how like it feels like if J Cole just did like he just got punked like real quick. But Bruh. but um, yeah. next uh, let's talk about uh, the the battle that people have been waiting to see for like ten plus years is. The Drake vs. Kendrick. Yes. Um, That's a battle everybody's waiting for. Yeah, this this is what people really want to see more. So because th- this is this will get a little bit more personal, and this really actually feels more like the the battle or beef that people want to kind of see play out and stuff. And you know, it, it is funny how like we have so much revisionist history going on and stuff like that. Like in the moment where it's just like now that Drake responds and be like oh how long is it gonna take Kendrick to respond I was like bro it took Drake like a month to respond right like what are we, what are we talking about let, and like even with control if you, his, if you let his propaganda arm DJ academics tell it since technically like that was a feature on someone else's song it doesn't need to be responded to but see like Drake niggas changing song, up rules and shit bro yeah, like <laughs> making up rules <laughs> like it, in this though that's the game that they're playing right there's there's the rap game then there's all the bullshit <laughs> behind it. Then there's DJ academics. Then there's breaking down the 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 mechanisms and the origin of the beef with everybody on on uh, on JBP, right? Then there's all these AI fake verses that keep popping up for both of these niggas online that people are eating off of uh, for engagement. Like there's so much going on based off of these two men's interaction uh, 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 alone, and, and and most of it has to do with the things outside of the bars. It's crazy right right and it's um and it's just it's just it's just crazy just like how you say like people just change up the rules be like oh this doesn't count or like this doesn't really count as it you know what i'm saying it's just he, he throwing he throw a jab so it's like you know it it counts as it counts as a diss track or whatever people want to talk definitely about definitely counts as a diss track right. absolutely like, I'm, like, I'm just saying this but, i'm just saying this right now as of now Drake didn't Drake didn't run to you know his little buddies and stuff. He dropped a disc by himself. Not yet. Kendrick, Not teamed, yet. Up with, Kendrick teamed up with his little gang Metro <laughs> Boom future to you know jump on Drake. Drake said, "I'm finna take this one v twenty on my own." This is what this is what Drake is. Drake is Captain America standing against Thanos' army in Endgame. 
He's not Captain America. Well, no, 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 no. He, 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 Captain America. No, no, he got all, he got all these. He's got, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got all, he's got all the best writers right now, right? All these different, you know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is all these reference to tracks that are coming out now, like with her loss. And and I was just like, yo, he's probably the greatest reference rapper, bro, because it's like. (laughs) He, he, he's the greatest cover artist, bro. How did people not already know that he's doing that? All right, one album I'm rapping like Playboy Cardi, another album I'm rapping like Yachty, another album I'm rapping like 21 Savage, next album I'm rapping like Future. Like he's morphing into the, the, the people as they're coming up. Like every single time the, 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 the Versace verse with Migos, he rapping like them. The black boy JB totally different floating when he gave his feature over there. That's he's uh-huh. able to That's slide true. in like a damn chameleon with all of these people. He, what it really did, what it really is, you know what it is. He takes a little bit of the juice from everybody, right? Takes a little bit of the juice from everybody, gives mm-hmm. them a feature, gets them popular. Then when they when they pop and they start getting what he would call ungrateful or, you know, just start branching off on their own. Now I get the claim that I made you. Now I get the claim that that you wouldn't be here without me. Like your first number ones, I had to put it in your hand, right? Yeah. I can say <laughs> that about you because I put the juice on you when you were smaller than me. Not uh, the whole time, not letting you know that I'm really adopting your sound to stay relevant. That doesn't matter. Let's 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 kind of put that in the back burner. Only thing that matters is I was big when you were little and I gave you a push. So that means I made you. And I think that's what a lot of I mean, this, like, grouping up it is. It's true. Look, look we did the little dirt. He, no, he stop, dog. Stop. He, stop. Let's, stop. Not forget, stop. let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Little Dirk has been gone since 2014. He's been gone. But when Drake did that feature, Lil Dirk shot back up. And mind you, 2014 to what? When did that song come out? 2022? How many years is that of, of, of being irrelevant? Please, please tell me. Drake please please back. tell me why now we're going to give Drake yes. the almost 40-year-old Canadian credit for the Chicago drill rapper. Why are we doing that? Why, why no, are we no, doing no, that? No, 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 no. I'm not saying he blew Drake him up. The maker of, of Dirk. I'm not saying he blew him up in 2014. Well, what I'm saying is he revived Little Dirk's dead career. Little Dirk wasn't really relevant since, but and, and, and perfect remember since. And so what, what did Dirk sure provide? And what you want, Drake? What does Dirk provide, Drake? Nothing, Drake. You know, Drake brought him back. I, okay, I just told you where Drake is from, right? But do you see that when you look at Drake? Does he look like the mixed race kid from from Toronto that says my my N I G G R instead of my N I G G A? Does he? Oh, does he? When you look at Drake. Does he look like the kid that doesn't like what how black people use slang around him in Toronto? Uh-oh. Does he does he look like that? They literally call Rick he, Ross a racist, bro. We call Rick Ross a racist. <laughs> the thing that Dirk is, is, is legitimacy. He gives some legitimacy. Oh, if he didn't white. have the proximity to future <laughs> and Metro Boomin and Ross and Lil Wayne and Jay Prince and Birdman and all these other figures of force right these scary figures in the industry he he would be john legend look he'd be mm. john legend. <laughs> he, he gets to play tough guy because of the proximity to all of the the little guys that he taps because of the migos because of little dirt because of 21 savage because of travis scott because of all of those guys that's why he's validated that's why everybody gets allows him to be the tough guy, but also the guy who runs to LeBron and tells him, "Ah, I didn't put out the Pusha T Drake because the Pusha T just because I didn't want to disappoint you, Bron. I didn't want to let you down." Remember what he said to Bron? He said, <laughs> "You're gonna get punched in the face." When he started the sentence, "You're gonna get," I'm like, "Oh, this is the part where you say how you, you know you get shot, you get no, no, no." His his uh worst case scenario was punched in punched the face. in the face. <laughs> Damn. But see, but see, look, this is the thing, right? Damn, Drake. This, 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 this <laughs> At the end of the day. And I'll agree with Marcus. Drake is chameleon. And that's why Drake has stayed relevant than more rappers. They don't know he's how to do a character adapt. actor. They don't they I was know I was thinking that. I was just thinking that so he's played a character. I, I would say his character. Well, maybe sometimes. But Drake knows how to adapt. He knows how to do something that a lot of rappers don't know how to do. And you did lose. <laughs> and fucking adapt. But 
I'll also say this about Drake. At the end of the day, you can't touch the certified lover boy. All of them coming at the certified pretty boy, white kid and stuff. And why are they attacking this white kid, man? Rock, he, Rick Cross called him a white kid, right? Why are they white, but, white boy. <laughs> BBL Drake, BBL Drake. <laughs> BBL Drake. White kid, this makes our community BBL look bad. And see now, even though like, whether you feel like how you, uh, wh- however you feel about um, Ross jumping into it, he jumped into it quick. You know what I'm saying? He he's like, I'm I'm be part of this moment. I don't care, like you know. And yeah, I was I, 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 part of me that like, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying Ross was. didn't uh, come with nothing, but he came with that disc very quick. That was quick. Like it felt it felt like I have yeah. a feeling like maybe that was already in the tank. Yeah, and he also didn't leak it either. Yeah, he didn't leak it online and let right. it sit out there for several hours before I shoot a text to academics to confirm it. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. He like, yeah, Drake's like moving weird. Like, like leak it just, this like, just to I, see I'm how people feel. Internet, and if y'all fuck with it, I'm a claim it. And if I don't, it's AI. <laughs> All right. All right. Look, look, because Drake is just playing. He's just he's just doing his boss shit. You know, he's just he, he's a villain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, look. look. Per- Drake is Aaron Yeager, and no, all these other people are the alliance and shit trying to trump. No, he's people. all for one. He be trying to steal everybody's shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you try to steal yeah, everybody's yeah. shit. My boy Yeager ends up, uh, you know, a little light on the shoulders there by the end of. That's why I like when people uh try to make the Thanos comparisons, they're like, yeah, like Thanos loses. Well, all right. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like, well, Jaeger didn't lose. He didn't lose. He got ah! everything he wanted at the end. He defeated the Titans. He made sure he, he ensured his friends had peace. He also made sure his island was the most dominant force. No, you can you can't you can't make the comparison to, to Jaeger and uh and, and, uh and Drake man you can't do that don't disrespect the man like that I will right, we'll see look when it when it comes time and Drake gotta go we'll see how much the world has changed since Drake <laughs> <and> Jake, <actually. laughs> let's wait what is DJ Academics relationship with Kendrick Kendrick no but, yeah, I mean yeah well I don't think I don't he has Kendrick. a line to him I don't think he can text him and be like hey Talk, break down my diss track. I, I it, think he's very choosy. He's a very industry. I mean, he's a Drake fan person. He's, he's a Drake fan boy. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's more apt. But even more than him being a fan, he's much more likely to end up in the camp of a person like Drake than a person like Kendrick. He's, just a lot he, more private. It, he's not down to be around people who are talking about their right. interactions with me in and out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's if if, if if still guard was a real person in real life, it'd be academics. Mm. That he he's the he he's still he's the <laughs> he's still guard, bro. Like cause he he just nut rides fucking Drake. Like he does no wrong, bro. Yeah, it's it's, it's like, hilarious. If he's making up rules about features and you can't really respond to feature Remy Ma responded to a feature off of Swallow, right? That was what got her going, wasn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Am I wrong? No. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, academic yeah, but is, it, I don't know. He's just making up more shit rules to, to, to slant Drake, just like he's doing a countdown. He's always been it's been four days, no response from Kendrick. I'm like, fam, we wait around for damn near a month to hear anything from this man. And then it didn't even go straight to the, the DSPs, it got leaked online. So we had to play is is it the real this track or not? Is it real or not? Half of the people weren't yeah. even willing to claim the bars before they heard it on academic stream. The and majority, even even go, go ahead, Chad, go ahead. Just the majority of the disses to Kendrick were actually they're understandable to me. I see it like this: like the, the, the deal he signed, and the deal everyone signs in the music industry. Go ask Taylor Swift, funny enough, Taylor Swift, she had to do the Taylor's version thing, right? We we all know when you get started off, you sign a terrible deal, but at least you get famous, at least it's enough to get you uh you know, potentially get you rich and, and, and everything you need. So when he's clowning on Kendrick, I'm like, yeah, I know, but that's kind of the business. And if he didn't sign this deal, he wouldn't have gotten where he got. It's it's kind of like, it's, that's not really that big of a shot. And that's kind of like his, he kept going back at that, right? He was repetitive about that. He kept hitting the drop and give me 50 year. Top said, give him 50 year, 50, 50, 50. It's like, fam. And supposedly, uh, like, whack is pretty much like, Spoken part that he's like, yeah, I'm like Drake, he, he's speaking like an outsider. He don't really know 
the business that's going on between him and Top, and you know they, they those two are close and stuff, so he doesn't really know the ins and outs of the business and stuff. He's just kind of speaking on it. Like it, it sounds yeah. like either he's holding information back for later, or he doesn't have information. And I and I would hate for him to be going into this without any information to follow this track up. Like if there isn't a bomb that's being laid on Drake's next track, I felt like this was a primer. But the next track, if there isn't a bomb that's laid, he has made a grave mistake. He better have one in the tuck for the ages. He has to have a he is having a child or he's hiding a child type moment. <laughs> he has to. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like you got to do that's more than just come at this man's height. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you, you're not people can do short jokes all day. My size seven shoes. It's not. That's not going to. That's not going to do it next time. So next time he better have a scud missile ready for Dot. Otherwise, this was the most pointless suicide mission I've ever seen from a rapper. Damn. You, you, you know what K Dot should do, right? You know, just just like how he does, like uh, what was that one um joint where he's talking to his therapist? Uh, I forget what uh what video that was, but he should do a video, drop a video on this shit, like video and audio, but like have the video and just have the same setup of him talking to a therapist, but the therapist is pushing T. Like he's talking <laughs> to push a T and stuff, uh, and like they're just yeah. he's like, yo, so tell me about the story of Adam Don and stuff like that, or just you know say and then he goes into, that would be so crazy. crazy. That would be so crazy. That there's I, nothing I, that Drake could do to respond to that. <laughs> like he is waiting for for Kendrick, or excuse me, for for Drake to say something. It's like why why are you over here going kamikaze and you just shooting back at everybody? I'm waiting for you to say say something. I dare you. I mm. dare you. Man, Double I'm dog there you I'll, I'll die on this hill right now. Kendrick ain't responding. He what could. he ain't responding? He could. No, he said Whitney. You're gonna die on this. This is the hill you're gonna die on that. He could. So when we wake up in the morning and the track's been released on Apple Music. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say, oh, it's here now, but like well, what smoke you got? That's okay. the thing though, with, with J. Cole. He didn't really have that much ammunition against him. Kendrick Lamar kind of went did. easy on him, and I guess that's why we got the response that we got. Aubrey Graham was mentioning the name of Kendrick's wife, uh, and and then there's years prior of just like shot after shot that he's been making to Kendrick. Uh, I think Kendrick's very motivated. W. Drake, that's what happened. Look, look, well, you 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 shouldn't put the white kid in the corner, and then now look what happens. He, he didn't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Kendrick started it and Drake's going to finish it. That's all I'm going to say. We'll just you know what I've, I've noticed about, about Drake's beefs outside of Meek Mill? Meek Mill is the one aberration to this. But yeah. outside of Meek, every single one of Drake's beefs or spats have come with people that he previously allotted, like look up to, had some sort of admiration for. He had a clips picture in his in his room that he talked about very early on in his career. So he was a big Pusha T fan, big Common fan, huge Kanye fan, huge Kanye influence on his career. Ludacris, right? Luda, uh, who Ross. else did he have problems with? Ross, Ross. But he's he's on the Ross track talking about his favorite rapper is Rick Ross. Right? <laughs> like, why is it that he? It's like meeting your your idols. And, and you know what I'm saying? And I don't turn rival. Well, only well, only one he never came after was DMX because I don't think he wanted that smoke either. Yeah, no. Yeah, because no. X X uh, X cooked him on the Breakfast Club, and Drake said nothing. No, I don't want that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like anything about Drake. I don't, I don't. I don't like his. I don't like his voice. I don't like his face. You know what I'm saying? I don't like nothing about Drake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is the thing. This is the thing. And I'll just say it's only one person. Everybody else except for Kanye is just envious of Drake. That's all it is. Fam. Kanye is obvious of every everybody. Kanye, Kanye good. Kanye, Kanye Lee. You Kanye get out the mud on his own. He's like, like I watch Kendrick on uh, No More Fires. <laughs> I like, like him because it's like whenever Kanye tweets, like you can just hear him say that shit out loud. Shit's hey, but fun. Kanye's hella fight. God, look, look. How do you feel about Kanye? One minute, all right, Drake, we cool. Next minute, fuck Drake. He's like that with everybody. Don't be like, yeah, you, 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 you cool with you one minute, man. Next minute, you biting your head off, man. Yeah, that's that Gemini yeah. shit. Yeah, tell, man. but um, but yeah, this was dope to kind of wrap things up though. Um, I have this. The this the last. This, this dude. Dude. Dang, look at that. The fate of the big three. Is there no? Should this completely just be disbanded? And this should just be no more? 
or it, you know, it's just a big two as of now. Right now, it's a big two. Yeah, oh, no, it's done. It's done. It's he continued right his spot. Mm. Or because to me, it's just it, it's just Kendrick right now. Man. It's just Kendrick. Man. Kendrick's the only one that got a Pulitzer up here, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, 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 I don't even know why he got it for it. Like, <laughs> Cole needs to hop in the time. Look, this is the thing. Cole is is low. he's he's Gohan now in the time trip. We got to go train with Goku to get ready for sale. Uh, uh, Drake is Drake is. Vegeta. Wait, 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 wait. You said Cole's Gohan. Cole is no Cole is Gohan going into the time chamber to get his training done. No, no, no. Cole right now is Yamcha. Cole right now he he's Yamcha. He's in that. the he's in the hole. He you know that you know he's in the hole and shit. Like that's that's oh, right, that's yeah. Cole right now. Now that's Cole Drake, right now. Drake is Vegeta coming out to step to semi perfect self. Drake is definitely Vegeta. Vegeta is one of the most insecure alpha male characters. I'll agree with that, Marcus. I'll agree with that. But my boy mm -hmm. developed, though. My boy developed. He no longer insecure. And Drake is insecure. Kendrick is better than me. That is such a great comparison. <laughs> he spends like half of his existence in Dragon Ball, like just chasing. The person that he knows is better, even though he's the the, the prince of whatever planet they come. What, what planet did they come from? Uh, Vegeta. Vegeta. Is it, Vegeta. Is it the planet? It's called Vegeta. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Vegeta. Great. Yeah, but he's the crown prince. But he know the most powerful saying. He just keeps coming to that conclusion after every big fight they have. Oh, it's Kakarot. That mm -hmm. that is Drake and K Dot. He like, oh, I can't get him. I can't get him. Damn. And Rick Ross was oob. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like to, to me, to me, like Kendrick right right now, he he's he he's performing like Sukuna and stuff. He just taking everybody out one by one, one by one. Just it's looking like chaos. But I think I think they should just like I don't know. I think I think it's done for the big three. You know, um, it was cool while it lasted. You know, but it's definitely like it it, it it's cooked though. It's cooked because it's just so many flaws in this shit. Even though. If we just take away all the the extra shit and we just look at their accolades, like yeah, it's still they are still the big the big three in that sense. But just like now that all this stuff has come out, that you got to kind of like rethink a lot of the shit. And I'm not I'm not ready to put like like future up there. Like people put a future in the big three. I was like, no, he has a huge impact. Like he's a big artist, but I just I want to put no fucking top three. Like is there room for Meg? Go ahead, you. What about Meg the Stallion? Did she drop albums? How many albums she got? I think she had like two or three, right? Two? Two. Yeah, you need a little bit more. You need a little bit more. Like she needs a she needs an absolute banger. I would say we, we could stand to open up the gates for more rappers in that realm. You know, maybe maybe we, we kind of held that gate just a little too tight around Kendrick Cole and and, and Drake. Um, you know, maybe we, we we entertain some others in that realm. I do think that there are those that are underrated that are out there right now, 21 Savage being one of them. Mm -hmm. I think he's well, look, I, think, I, I think Megan, I mean, it, as an old head like myself, you know, Megan's flow, she's she flows like like the old school cats. I like heard his blow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not that far, bro. Not that far. Right? <laughs> you know that there was a nigga from Megan. No, 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 no. I'm saying, yo, I'm saying, yo, I, I can, I can understand what she's saying. She don't sound like she's drugged up. Like, like half these no, niggas now be just. That was like what the <laughs> fuck, like nigga, you you're mumbling. Speak. Yeah. For you sure. know, <laughs> Megan, Megan, I can understand what the fuck she's saying. Like, I don't think she gets enough credit. For her flow, you know, everybody talk about how she twerk and shit, but I, yeah. I think I think Megan, you know, she, I, 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 I dig her flow, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I like you know uh, I like the girls is right now. Mm, go ahead, Glorilla. Glorilla. I like Glow, but I like I like I like I like, I like Sierra Whack. I like I even I even like Caribou. Caribou is like interesting, even though like she's not gonna be for everybody, but. At least she doesn't sound like she don't be trying to sound like Nikki and like you know what I'm saying she don't be trying. Oh, she to sound definitely like, doesn't sound like everybody else for yeah. sure. Yeah. She sounds very special. <laughs> very special. But, uh, but I like I like like uh, I like JID. I think he he probably like the nicest out of the, the new niggas. Um, as far as like groups goes and stuff, I'm I've been paying attention to the Yachty's crew, uh, the Concrete Boys. Like I like I like a lot of people uh people off of that. Just like the energy they give off. 
Um, so it's a, it's an interesting it's an interesting kind of like transitional like kind of period that hip hop's going through right now. It's just like there's you know get rid, like get rid of the mumble rappers, man. Get rid of the mumble rappers. Them niggas that's not <laughs> fucking from the Walking Dead. I, I can't. Hate but that's that. the thing. Like I I've never like I never understood the mumble rap thing because it's like there's not a lot of people that do that. It's just they're just like crooning or just you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But well, it Wayne, is it Wayne is. started that shit, man. Wayne, I, you know, I'm, I'm so this may be a hot take. You know, I respect Wayne for what he did for the culture, man. But fuck Wayne, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I never, I never liked Wayne. I never liked his flow. That whole day, man, dude, that 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 ball going to the devil, man, boy. I, I never liked Wayne, never. <laughs> but I, but I, I respect him though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't take away with what he's did for the for the culture. I can't say that enough. But damn, I can't stand his music. I can't stand it. Thank you, Wayne. And that's you, fair. You, you'll, ne- you'll never hear me rap a little Wayne song. Like Rashad, spit a little Wayne verse. Uh, yeah, a little reason, baby, 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 baby. No. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Wayne is hit or miss for me, but, like, you know, he's not one of, like, my favorite artists. Like, I still appreciate, like, his work ethic. I, I think. Like not a lot of people have that same work ethic, and like oh, yeah, you know, no I guess you could. No I, I I think the only person you could say like you could compare his work ethic to the, in today's time is like NBA YoungBoy, because NBA YoungBoy dropped like 10, 10 albums a year. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I fuck with you him know, my, my son got me on NBA YoungBoy, but uh, yeah, Wayne, I just I don't even when he talks, man, like his voice sounds like he needs lotion. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't stand. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I, so you start asking, <laughs> yeah, well, but this is this is gonna be interesting. So I want to kind of go around to kind of give get some closing thoughts or just, well, um, oh, we have high expectations for Kendrick's response. Will it deliver? You know, what I'm saying, like Marcus, how do you feel about it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, according to the the powers that be the the next disc that comes out from Kendra's camp will be one that has been in the tuck for about four years. Mm. So at, at this point, I think it is about strategy, about when. Um, obviously, Drake, knowing that, probably threw Seven Minute Drill out there, especially with some of the critiques that we all shared about it now that we've gotten to give our thoughts, uh, right. with it being kind of repetitive, probably it's a little bit of bait. Does he throw... The the atomic bomb he has out next swing, who knows? We just know it's there. My real question is, how much does Drake have? Now that you've already tipped your head about the wife stuff, right? We're going back to talking about somebody's wife. Okay. You played your hand on that. What's the follow-up? That's what I'm interested to see. Mm. All right. Chill. Screen share. You see this here? The childhood actor? That's grassy right there. We're gonna we're gonna freeze frame on that. That'll be the cover of this new song. It'll be Aubrey Graham. And it's I know I can what are they singing right here, right? If I hold out is gonna be the name of his song. You know, if I hold I I, I had a better idea. Like the instrumental will be the Degrassi song. If I hold out, that's gonna be the picture on the on the on your phone when you're listening to it. So that every time he he thinks of his childhood memories, if I hold out, (laughs) that's gonna be the name of Kendrick's song. If I hold out. My 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 thing is like I I feel like Kendrick should, should completely do like the whole Degrassi thing, but like take Rick. You know, call the sh- uh, call the track Ricky and just have the picture of Rick pointing a gun at Jimmy and stuff like that. Like that'd be, that'd be crazy. The shooter, the actor who played the shooter. That's that's the cover right there. Yeah, that's find that's him, that'd be fine. Give him a gun to have him take a picture. That's the pick right there. You know <laughs> uh, Rashad, uh, what, what do you think, feel, feel about this? Like how how you feel like this is going to play out? Uh, well, I have no bias, man. Man, may the best man win. Um, honestly, I fuck with Kendrick more than I do Drake. You know, I'm I'm not a Drake hater, but he's just he's just not my cup of tea, man. You know, what I'm saying I never really was a fan of his, so um, I would not be opposed to him getting knocked out lyrically. You know, so yeah, I, I hope Kendrick comes through, man. And uh, you know, with the one two, you know, two piece in the biscuit. You know what I mean. 
Okay, we we already know what Dot thinks. He's a tra- he's a traitor to his uh, his country, his countrymen. You know, I'll so he's I'll, obviously. I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it quick. I'll just say this: Drake will be known for Degrassi, and Kendrick will be known for pay- playing a crackhead on Power. <laughs> so I'll say. Ooh. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Another, another thing. Another thing. Uh. Kendrick won't respond and make sure you guys go stream Carnival. Make sure it stays in the top 10 on Billboard. Go stream Carnival. Stream that shit. That's crazy. Keep Kanye relevant. <laughs> Even if he fucks with Hitler, keep him relevant. Andrea, I thought wait, Perf, I did want to ask you real quick. How do you do you think do you think Kanye is gonna be crazy and put vultures to uh to that sell it on his site or put it on streaming? What do you think? It's gonna be on streaming. This will be on streaming. If it ever comes out, he'll probably just completely redo it. Just be like, all right, we're gonna call it something else. It's not gonna be called Vultures. It's some shit like. Oh, it's for sure gonna drop. But do you, do you think it's for sure gonna go to streaming, or are you gonna do that? Should we gonna sell it on his site with the clothes? Um, that is it's definitely gonna be on streaming. Like it'll probably be on streaming for like a day, and they'll take it off, and then they'll probably put it on his site. <laughs> okay. So. We'll see. I, I, we'll I, see. I forgot. I forgot. Kanye said he um he loves Hitler. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Kanye. I listen, I, I I try, man. I really try. I Kanye be saying shit. Kanye be saying some real stuff, man. I try, but for every real thing that he says, man, he comes with some, some off the wall, stupid. I mean, bad yeah. shit, crazy type yeah, stuff, man. Like, bipolar. Dude, I can't. Yeah, bipolar Gemini. <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to remember, but like, he just doesn't let me. You know, he just doesn't let me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he no right. to throw him. Like he, he's he's one bad day from becoming Orlando Brown, man. Like he, he's like almost he's at the cusp of becoming Orlando Brown. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a dope discussion. I want to just kind of keep it short this episode, um, but I think it just touched on everything. Pretty pretty much wanted to talk about. Uh, in this stream so i'm just gonna go around i'll let y'all uh let people know where they can find you what you know what i'm saying uh what you got coming next uh rashad um okay yeah rashad g reviews uh i just dropped a video today i did a reaction to the newest x-men 97 episode uh six banger yeah yeah so um so i reacted to six and five and um i'll be reacting to every episode up until the end and I'm um, doing a review for Abigail Friday. I'll be dropping that video. And that's all I got for right now. I, I, I'm thinking about doing a review for Fallout, but I don't know quite what to say about that one. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm loving this show. No, nah, not yet. I got I got uh, two episodes left. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, that shit's my, my, one of my favorites of the, the year so far. Oh, it's dope! Like it, it's so good. I don't even know how to talk about it, man. That, that's how, that's how dope it is. So I, I'm Why gonna they try to. It all at once? What's that? Yeah. Why they release all at once? That don't make no Cause... sense. We're not going to do this because it's not cable. It's not cable. That's why. No, I know it's not cable. <laughs> I know it's not cable. But like, this is Fallout. This is a big property. I mean, they 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 Some didn't really enjoy the binge model. They are out there. They exist. Me. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I do like binging, but and, and I've never played the game, so I came into this completely blind. I knew nothing about Fallout at all, so I came into I it like even, knowing nothing, and I'm like, I'm hooked. Because not if even binging, if binging with, uh, didn't Halo. work, then cable services wouldn't have on demand. Oh no, binging does work. I'm not going to take that away. Binging does work, but what I'm saying is, not even Paramount did that with Halo. That Halo show is ass. But it's like, hey, you're crazy. Watch your mouth about Master Chief. Uh oh. Watch your mouth when you talk about Master Chief. That is Master Chief. That's that ain't that ain't Master Chief. Master Chief in that show. I don't know him, but I don't know. Hey man, well, we'll just say how how did that weekly release help Invincible? I'll just leave it at that. But I mean, no. (laughs) When did we start on Invincible? This season of Invincible is so disappointing. Yeah, for the first season it worked. For the second season, there was no reason to do that. The only reason they did that was because they were trying to introduce that ad shit. Because when I watched episodes what six, the ads were on there. Never that's before. Trash. That's trash. That's why Amazon's trash. That's why Amazon's trash. Yeah, the ads yeah. did come out of nowhere on Prime. I was like, Are you <laughs> commercials. 
Yep. yep. All right. Yeah. Um, Chillmonger, let the people know where they can find you and what you got going on. The name of the channel is Chillmonger. Uh, Bigger Boy Entertainment just popped up in the chat. Uh, he's a man who uh, I, I got to meet a couple days ago. He's like five foot. He's five foot. He's he's taller. Uh, he's shorter than Kate, or at least what? the same time. How come I can't be tall? Why does he got to be small? <laughs> <laughs> so, so me and him got a video up about our fake little feud that we planned out, and we convinced so many people. There were so many people DMing us like, hey, "Guys, what are you doing? Stop it! We're better than this." I almost I, believed it. I ain't gonna lie, you know, that video was convinced. I was like, "Oh shit." Why do you do this shit? Too? I, was, I was like, "What the fuck?" Man? But but it's just just like I told uh, Anzo his uh, his chat. It's just like, "Oh, it's two Canadians beefing." So it's like, "This got to be fake." <laughs> Go check that out if you want to have fun. And then I did a recast T'Challa video just a minute ago. So look at that. Sorry, I don't have much coverage on the rap stuff like uh, Marcus and Josh. They were like reading the lyrics and everything, and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so Drake didn't do that bad. Nice. Yep, okay. you can find us over on Back of the Bus. Um, like Chill just said, we broke down all the lyrics of uh, both diss tracks that came out over the weekend. Champagne Moments and 7 Minute Drill. Go check that out at uh, Back of the Bus Podcast uh, YouTube page. Okay. Um, K-Dot, uh, what other Christians are, are, you, are you slaying on TikTok? Um, that's like... <laughs> I mean, I'll be back with some this week. Um, doing a live on YouTube again this Friday. Going to cover a bunch of topics again. I'm going to take it, clip it. I still got some more topics to clip from the most recent live we did. Um, yeah, I think the next video that's going to drop is the WWE video with uh, Guru in them. So you guys are going to get to see that. And then this Friday, we'll be back with another live. Okay. And we're, we're, we're. I nah, just, I like, just got I was... back into WWE. I just got back into that shit after 21 years. Hey, man. Yeah, Final good. Boss might bring me back. Final Boss might give me... You know who yeah. messed it up for WWE? Peacock. <laughs> Being greedy. Being greedy. Why is that? So they split WrestleMania into two nights now, yeah. but both of them, you had to pay to watch on if you had Peacock, if you already had it. Like, I already had Peacock. Why am I, why am I have to pay again to watch the... This, this no, I, I, I don't have to pay extra. No, I just, I just pay. I mean, I just had my regular subscription, and um, I was way able to watch it. Yeah, maybe I had a lower tier because when I went in and tried to click the the Saturday night event, mm-hmm. told me to to order now or something like that. I was like, okay, well, oh, no thanks. No I don't thanks. know. I don't. Well, shit. I don't know what tier I have. I just I pay like what six what six eight nine a month. So, That's what I thought. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't pay yeah. that much more for for uh for Peacock. So yeah, it's about six thousand a month. I, I, yeah, I but, wonder how that's gonna work with uh with the uh Netflix getting raw. So it's like raw gonna mainly just be on Netflix now. I hope and so. Not on I, USA. I, don't, I don't got USA networks. I, I don't I mean the only TV I watch is through whatever streaming services I have. So I don't I don't have like USA network and um so I can't watch SmackDown or Raw. But I was able to watch WrestleMania. That shit was tight. Where where I, I would be more worried about Netflix's what was that? I was gonna say I'll be more worried about Netflix's capabilities on a live, like a live, you know, millions of people watching Raw. Yeah, they've Netflix had they've had some live. kind of fumbles with other lives before, I think. Too, really? So, I think so, they haven't fully tested it out. But that's interesting that streaming services are getting into like live content, and you got like Disney talking about doing channels and stuff like that, doing some Tubi shit. So, just, mm-hmm. just, just. but yeah. I appreciate y'all pulling up. Appreciate everybody um, that was in the chat that interacted or just pulled up late. You know what I'm saying? Definitely run it back. We had a great discussion. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace.